ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Kevin. And I'm Greg. And today is going to be my last video, guys, as host of Playtech TV. And Greg is going to be taking over the reins as right. host from here on out. Now, uh, don't worry too much. If you still want to watch my reviews and my videos, I still have my personal channel, Tech Showdown. Uh, so we'll leave a link to that in the description below so you can still catch all of my content. So today we're going to be talking about overclocking Skylake processors. So first of all, we should start with what exactly is overclocking? So basically what overclocking is, is just turning up the frequency of your CPU so that it gets stuff done faster. Think of this kind of like, I like using it, like motorway analogy. Um, you're basically turning up the speed limit basically. So everything gets to go a bit faster and things get done a bit quicker. Uh, by increasing that frequency, we're, we're kind of actually throwing a little bit more power into it, which yeah. can also lead to more heat coming out of it. Why would you want to overclock your CPU? Well, I mean, a lot of CPUs that uh, you get these days, the clock speeds are actually set fairly conservatively. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, we're looking at the um, 6600K, for example, and it's set at 3.5 gigs out of the box. Turbo's up to 3.9. Yep. That's not a huge increase in performance. And um, there can still be a lot of headroom there for us to, you know, just crank it up a little bit more yep. and kind of just get a bit more, a uh, bit, bit of a boost out of that um, to speed things up a little bit. Hey, it's there. Why not make use of it? Yeah, yeah, especially games that are very physics heavy. You'll yep. see a big benefit in your frames when you start overclocking your CPU. But it's just not only games. If you're doing sort of productivity things, you know, Photo editing, uh, video editing is a big one. Absolutely. I mean, some of these renders can take hours to complete, if mm. not, you know, days or all night. I remember leaving my computer on all night just to render some videos back in the day. So now that we know what overclocking is and we know why we want to do it, what kind of gear are we going to need to actually get stuck into this? Okay. So for this particular video, we're talking about Skylake. So for that, you're going to want an unlocked Skylake processor. And that means you have two choices, either the i5 6600K or the i7 6700K. And you're going to need a good motherboard as well. So we'd recommend the Z170 series of motherboards. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to stick with that chipset because it's designed for overclocking. The better Z170 motherboard you get should allow for a better overclock as it's going to be giving your CPU a cleaner, more efficient power. So you're going to be able to crank it just a little bit higher, mm. basically. But when you do that, it's going to be throwing out a lot more heat. Yeah. So the big thing to remember with the uh, Skylake Unlock processors is that they don't come with a cooler. Generally speaking, with coolers, the bigger, the better. So just if you got the room in your case, just go nuts. Yeah. First, you want to load up your BIOS by hitting the delete key when your PC is booting. We're going to start off by taking a stab at 4.5 GHz. First we want to sync all cores to make sure our changes will affect all four cores. CPU core ratio is the number of times our base clock frequency is multiplied. Because our base clock is 100, if we set our CPU core ratio to 45, it means our CPU frequency will end up at 4500, aka 4.5 GHz. In order to work at this speed, we're going to need more voltage. We'll try 1.375, usually want to stay below 1.4 volts. Now let's give it a restart and see how it goes. Unfortunately, after 5 minutes of 8 to 64, we crashed. Sometimes you need to add a bit more voltage to gain stability, but we're feeling lucky, so we're going to drop the voltage a bit to 1.35. Now let's try it again. And we have success. That's a 12.5% improvement. We're not going to break any records, but it's still a great boost. We usually leave our machines overnight to make sure they're stable. We could carry on dropping the voltage until we lose stability again, but for now, we're going to call it a day so that we can get this video online. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and it's quite easy to overclock your Skylake CPU. Absolutely, with a little bit of patience, a little bit of messing around, you know, it's a, it's a really cool thing to get into. It's essentially a free upgrade for your system, provided you've got the cooler, yeah, you know. Yeah. If you're not completely comfortable with overclocking the system yourself, but you still want your CPU to be overclocked, you can bring it down here to Playtech, and one of our professional technicians can overclock the system for you, and uh, get it stable and get it really nice as high as they can go with a few secret techniques out there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's really good as well. And that just saves you if you're not completely sure on uh, what to do. 
So that's going to round out this video, guys. And this is going to round out Playtech TV for me. So it's been, you know, fun doing it. I've been doing it about, you know, over a year now. And we've put out a lot of videos. The channel's grown to four times the size since I took over as host. And I have really enjoyed it. And it's, um, you know, one of those things that's kind of sad to go. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we just got to keep going. And I'll keep going with my own channel as well. And it's been um, fun. And Greg here is going to keep Playtech TV going, so that should be really good as well. And I look forward to seeing the content that he produces. Totally. We're still going to keep in touch with Tech Showdown with Kevin and um, support him totally. So it's not the end of things for us. No. Um, but, you know, if you love something, you got to set it free. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, thanks, man. It's been really good um, doing Playtech TV with you over the years. It's been really fun. And I thank you guys, the fans, as well. It's been great. So if you haven't subscribed to Playtech TV, hit that subscribe button and like the video. And as Greg will now be saying, we'll, we'll see you next time. See you next week. <laughs>